Do we reveal the secret? It's okay to let him behind the curtain a little bit. The pear products. They are such an iconic part of the iCarly universe. Can you talk to me about those props? Like, are they just cases on regular phones and laptops? Do they actually work? Do we reveal the secret? It's okay to let him behind the curtain a little bit. Yeah, Yeah, it's just the case. They, like, cut out a pair into the case. But I feel like even the original pair phones, like, I used to always want one of those. Like, that was my dream like, if I were to ever get a phone, I'm like, Mom, get me that. So, like, I need that in my life. <laughs> yeah, I'll it's see. not. It, yeah, it's it's evolved. I think the phones, though, are still, it's actually like a reflective kind of foil thing mm -hmm. with a laser cut pear shape. So there's different iterations of it. But since the laptops you see so clearly, you know, it's like facing right toward the camera, they definitely wanted to make sure that those popped a little bit. So I tried to I tried to cut my actual phone into a pear shape. Oh, no. I got electrocuted. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, they were just green screens because there was so much content that, you know, would have been shot later that we should have been watching or Freddy's hacking, a blah, 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 you know, and we, they don't know what those graphics are going to be until, you know, a few months after that. So all of those, from what I remember, the, the TV in the studio, the computers, the phones, they were all green screens. And then they had a little battery pack with a switch where like the silent switch was mm -hmm. and that would switch on the little light. The light. But they would run out like every 20 minutes. So they were constantly coming in and swapping out the the batteries jerry i have to tell yes. you <laughs> you are a comedic genius raised an entire generation thank um, you <laughs> you're very welcome <laughs> your um, words not mine oh no you have no idea what you've just oh, done God. oh lacy how tall am i are you <laughs> aware i'm sick that's right <laughs> that a lot of people online think you look like fellow icon jamie lee curtis and affectionately what? refer to you as oh my god jerry lee curtis First off, smoke show, so yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, I mean, we... Trading Places, one of my favorite movies. Halloween, one of the best horror movies ever made. I'll take it. I feel like I need to see a side by side. Right. Yes. Look, we got grape face. All right, grape shaped face. Grape. I kind of. I don't know. Though. Is it from the episode from the original where I dress up? Uh, whose mom? Oh, I, I dress up like like uh, Sam's mom. I look like a very confident woman. Uh, you are very a very confident, talented who woman. Eats really great yogurt. Thank and you. So regular. <laughs> and is regular. Nathan, this season it seems like Creddy finally becomes a thing. Do you think you two are the slowest burn in TV history? Yeah, I feel like 15 years has probably got to be some kind of record. Mm -hmm. I would think. I can't <laughs> for, really. For will they? Won't they? Yeah, yeah, that's a really long span. Um, and granted, about a decade of that was left up to the viewers' imagination, but. I think that is the fun of this season is we're exploring elements of Carly and Freddie's past that have never been talked about. Um, experiences that they had that actually inform a lot of Carly and Freddie's interaction in the first two seasons. You start to go, ah, so that's why they are the way that they are. Um, so it's been really cool to take all of this span of time and start to piece together little elements of how the first two seasons and their relationship came to be, coupled with them getting slammed at the end of the second season with someone to their face just saying, you guys are in love with each other and not having the opportunity to shy away from that or pretend like it never happened. So, you know, creatively, that was a challenge for everyone involved to strike the right balance and find a way forward that would uh, make the fewest amount of people angry, I guess, because you're never going to be able to please absolutely everyone, but just take our best stab at what we thought would be a well-rounded approach that would make the fans happy, make them uh, feel like it was worth the wait to really have a chance to explore this relationship and learn more about them as adults, not just as kids. Uh, lastly, can I get you guys to rank these iconic iCarly foods? So we got spaghetti tacos, bagel on a stick or anything on a stick, uh -huh. a groovy smoothie, the butter sock, or sand. The the that turned out. <laughs> 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 um, spaghetti tacos for me, like actually getting to try one. Which I mean, obviously, I guess I could have made it at home as a kid, but trying one on set like with happened. you all it, it was bussing <laughs> that was definitely spaghetti tacos yeah yeah that's spaghetti tacos at that's the top number, that's one. number one um sand? oh my god delicious i love Wait. sand i love sand i would combine I sand all the time. 
<laughs> you were I eating the sand? I what is in it? It was just, actual sand, Jane. It's just sugar, isn't it? It's just pure I no sugar. I don't, I don't know what it was. I was just... <laughs> I think it was actually sugar in the raw. It was like yeah. that big turbinado. Oh, I tried it. I tried it. I, mm -hmm. I We're backtracking. We don't now. have control over Jaden on the set. <laughs> she just eats whatever's in front it. of her. Props. It was sweet. So that's something. That's because it's that sugar. I'd combine the butter and the, the bagels. As oh, yeah. So just everything. butter sock the bagel. Like just, just butter sock the bagel. Slap them that's on right. there. Yeah, Sam I don't know if I'd eat the butter sock straight. Because that seems a, like That's a lot disgusting. of cotton, Ooh. you know? That's disgusting. And then the smoothies, honestly, the descriptions of them are actually much more delicious than they actually were. They were oh, very smoothies, standard. Smoothies. They were very standard juices, but we had to, you know, use our yeah. acting powers to pretend that they were the grooviest the magnificent smoothies. Magnificent acting powers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unite. <laughs> Amazing. So it sounds like everything is just a number one. Nothing falls to the bottom for anyone. We're terrible at ranking. And math. Yeah, that's what you asked us to do, huh? <laughs> Not just talk about how... Okay, spaghetti tacos, we can yeah, say number one. One, yeah. The bagel Wait, and it's... butter sock combo? Yeah. Number, number two? two. Come on. The sand, number three? Yes. No. And then Never the groovy smoothie, number four. Yes. Sand is last. You never ate the okay. sand. That's right, because why would you? Because it's because sweet and delicious. Why? And it all down. It. Jayden, it's the sand. Fine. Jayden. Sand, then smoothie. Okay, I didn't mean to start a fight, but thank you guys so much. It was lovely chatting with you. Yeah, we're gonna fight after this. <laughs> like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.